Okay, now we're gonna make a French seam. So a French seam is a type of seam that again, it encloses the seam allowances in the seam when we're finished. So it takes two different seams to actually make it. So this time we're gonna do a superimposed seam, but rather than putting right sides together, for our first seam, we actually want to put wrong sides together. So the right side of our fabric is out. We're gonna put a couple pins in there to hold it in place. And we're gonna make a plain seam, but our first seam is only gonna be done at one fourth of an inch rather than our normal five eighths of an inch. So most presser foots are about a quarter of an inch. So we're gonna line up the edge of our fabric with the edge of our presser foot. We're gonna back stitch. Then we're gonna sew all the way down our fabric, keeping the edge of the fabric aligned with the edge of the presser foot. When we get to the end, we're going to back stitch. We have our fabric that's sewn together, wrong size together, with our quarter inch seam allowance. So we want to open that up and press this flat. Make sure it's good and pressed. But we don't, we wanna leave our seam allowances together. So we're not gonna press those open. Then we want to fold our fabric so that it becomes right sides together and we want to use our seam as our fold line. And we want to press that. Okay, so we have that pressed and now we're ready to stitch. Okay, so we've pressed our seam so that our quarter inch seam is inside now. We can put a couple pins in to hold that fabric in place. And now we're going to do a plain seam using our folded edge, our original seam as the edge of our fabric. And this time we're gonna do it at 3 eighths of an inch. Okay. So plain seam, we're gonna back stitch. And we're gonna stitch all the way down. to the end, we're gonna back stitch. Okay. We can remove those pins and we have a folded edge here that encloses the raw edges. When we open this up to the right side, we don't see any raw edges because they are enclosed in our actual seam. So that is a French seam.